Good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of the Multifamily Minute with Old Capital. James, we hear this a lot. What does Fannie and Freddie mean? All right, so Fannie and Freddie, um, they used to be private entities. And then sort of through the whole great financial crisis back in 2008, 2009, the government basically said, all right, come on in. You, you are now part of uh, the, this whole government agency. And so now they're government agencies and they essentially provide liquidity in terms of debt to the single family market and the multifamily market. And so a lot of the people um, that we work with, the lenders have licenses and that allows them to give out these loans, which are um, pretty great, right? So they're, they're usually based off of two things. They can go up to 80% leverage and then, but the thing that they really look for, they're a stabilized lender. So they're gonna look at a 125 debt service coverage. So NOI divided by your debt service and on an amortizing basis needs to be 125 and that's how they're gonna size the loan. And, but they give great loan terms, right? So it's gonna be non-recourse, it can be five, seven, 10 year loans and um, they can give you some interest only and then it'll go 30 year amortization. And so if you compare that to any other commercial property type, then um, it blows it out of the water. And so Fannie and Freddie are a great resource. I mean, during COVID, there was no lenders in the market, right? So CMBS was gone, Bridge was gone, all of 2020. And then the only guys who were lending to multifamily was Fannie and Freddie. So um, it provides a great backstop for uh, multifamily investors out there. So they're really looking for strong occupancy on the properties. Yeah, so one of the requirements for this is 90% occupied for the last 90 days on Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac loans. So they're gonna look at your rent roll um, right there at the beginning of the loan process and then right before you close, they're gonna ask for one last rent roll and you wanna make sure that your property's stable, 90% um, occupied for the last 90 days and that's gonna, that's gonna allow you to get one of these loans. So you don't want your occupancy dropping while you're trying to close, right? Yeah, so if the occupancy is dropping and your rental rates are dropping and your revenue is dropping, uh, it's not a good sign because what happens is um, Fannie and Freddie usually use like a trailing three and then they annualize that number. So if you have a lower number, they're gonna, they might annualize that last month and then that's gonna be detrimental to your NOI.